money has never been number one factor as anybody can have money or most of the people or a percentage of people might have the money but they don't know what to do with the money so capital should not be a number one thing on your list your number one thing on your list should be welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is zach daniel and please feel free to subscribe feel at home feel welcome feel everything positive because we are always about positive vibes so i am here today for you guys and i just wanted to talk to you something about business i had posted on my instagram and if you have not followed me on instagram please consider to follow on the link that i have linked on the description box underscore z underscore daniel that's simple okay <laughs> so today i'm here for business and that's why i have makeup i don't have lines and whatever because i am a serious business lady okay <laughs> so today i want to talk to you guys about something that has also helped me i had i had uh, had a poll as I had said earlier, so 85% uh, of you say that I should do a video and I'm going to do it, I think, this for business one by one until we get there. And today I'm starting on the five things that you should consider before starting a business in Nairobi. So the first thing is that um, for you to start a business, you have to identify a gap. By identifying a gap, what I mean is that you look at what is lacking in a specific area or in a specific place for... Yes, I understand we have very many products and of course most of the products are available in the market but you know they, there must be a deficit somewhere, okay? So if there's a deficit somewhere, it means that the rate of consumption is higher than the rate of supplying so you can consider that as a gap and for you to fill it as a gap you have to also bring in your effort and do that as your business and the second thing that you should do is that you should do something that is in line with your passion that's number two something that is in line with your passion you cannot tell me that you like something like makeup like me <laughs> but you're going to start being a carpenter that one those ones don't match so you need to really see uh to consider something that you're passionate about so if you're passionate about something you'll be self-driven and by being self-driven you'll be committed by doing what you like enjoy doing what you love so uh, if you have a passion for something, like for example, for me, I like makeup, so I usually sell things like this ones, the wigs and makeup, my eyeshadow palette. I have my eyelashes there on Instagram, if you don't know. So because my passion is there and I identified an opportunity, I know I identified a gap for something. And that's why I am selling this one. And I thank God we are doing well. At first, it's never easy. That's what you should know. But you have to be consistent and everything. And whoa, you'll get far. Money has never been number one factor. As anybody can have money or most of the people or a percentage of people might have the money, but they don't know what to do with the money. So capital should not be a number one thing on your list. Your number one thing on your list should be the gap. And then the passion and then now the money so the money you should consider like you should never be afraid of of course always starting small you can just be doing like you can be selling locally and not be say of course you'll be selling locally but what i mean is that you can be getting your stock from just here kenya the local shops or local you can get local suppliers and from local suppliers is where you can grow so you should if you have it doesn't matter if you have a lot of capital like it doesn't matter if you have a lot of money or if you have just a handful like handful so if you have a handful it is advisable you just start here within the local okay so don't 
think that if you start local you will fail or something like that it's all in the mind so if you are able to have money for stock you can be able to start doing what you love of course so if you're considering doing it internationally you have to have enough money and then if you're bringing things don't bring them like once in bulk make sure you bring something just to test the market you can bring different like different different things and the one that is really selling you'll focus on that or bringing more stocks on that because how to take kulalisha pesa Okay, we are here for money. The third thing is also you should have money that will maintain the business when it's still young. For the first few days, you should have some extra money that you can put it aside for you to do to maintain your business. Yes, that's our point number three. So our point number four should have your target market. What do I mean by a target market? A target market is by danger it's by gender by population and by the area okay so if you have a target market let's say if you're going to put a shop at the university where students usually go or where students most most of the population most of the population is paid up of students yes so your target being students you'll of course have to know what do students like what can be consumed by them but of course let's say they'll definitely have to eat every day so that one of course will be selling like nonsense specific target population you should also have a specific location by location it should have a flow of people or stream of people those who are coming in and out coming in and out so that's our another point i hope you're noting them down because i am not going to repeat myself <laughs> because you can replay the video five point is that does your product really stand out so by really stand out uh, by saying does your product stand out i mean that does it have is it affordable is it quality is it unique especially the uniqueness not everyone wants to have things that are common to everyone yeah like you can bring stuff and someone will say oh this is kenya uniform so i don't want that so you should also consider uh what's the what's so unique about your about your products oh, of course the products are in the market but what makes you stand out what what will make the customer to purchase yours but not has or his yes so i think you should also consider that and we should always focus on uniqueness affordability and the quality of the product so that's about the what makes the product to stand out my bottom line is we should also have a SWOT analysis SWOT analysis s stands for strength w for weakness O for opportunity and T for threats. So by saying S, S for strength, it means that strength is, for example, high population of students, as I had given before, high population of students uh, near a university like that vicinity. If it has a high population of students and you know the items that they want, that's a strength. It's an ad advantage to you. High consumption rate is the ability of your product meeting the needs of your consumers i hope i am as simple as usual and everything because you know as i have worn my wig maybe i might be <laughs> i might be complicated but yo yeah yeah weaknesses i'll say maybe like low population just the opposite of strength so if you see the strengths are outdoing the weaknesses definitely you should go for that and if the weaknesses are doing outdoing the strength do not try to do it okay so we are we have talked about the strengths the weaknesses i'm talking about now the opportunity the opportunity it means it means like yeah opportunity opportunity only comes once in a lifetime 
but in this case you're not talking about lifetime i am talking about season so let's say if you're someone who is selling clothes you'll always use an opportunity like let's say if you're importing or not importing <laughs> if you're selling winter clothes during summer like you should if it's winter you bring in winter clothes if it's summer you bring in summer clothes you should not be selling winter clothes during summer you should not be selling summer clothes during winter it makes sense yeah that's that's it for opportunity it's a matter of season so you should bring something that goes with seasons and the threats the last one is that um we have high competition rate of course we have very many brands or very many products around but make sure your stands out yes it's a threat but you are the one who will work towards it you are the one who will who will um who will make it to be positive or negative so you have to choose on that so another thing is that uh threats let's say if you are some someone another example is that if you are someone like a farmer who has planted his or her crops or something like that in a huge farm and then you expected enough rain and enough sun and then the vice versa happen it comes too much rain or too much sun so that's a threat to to your productivity so i think i have exhausted what i wanted to talk to to talk about today and let me know your thoughts down there and what you think about this and in case you have any question just comment down there and i'll answer you quick 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 and another time we'll also do a series on this week i think we'll do a series on business alone and then we'll go continue to do our businesses as usual like any we do anything that comes up anything that is of help that's what we do so yeah my parting shot is that never fear to start small we always have a beginning and you know just like the mustard seed we will start from down and at some point we will sprout and our wings will spread so thank you very much for always watching and thank you guys subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you share you comment or do something about the video of course if you're hating sorry for the energy but i will not focus on that okay so thank you very much for the for your time until next time so bye bye <laughs>